Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's the 14th of May 2024. Mike Smith, seen analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at the news today. Of course, we saw a mixed session overnight for US equities. Markets potentially cautious on that impending US CPI data tomorrow. Possibly see more of the same today, I suspect. Uh, but US futures near neutral in the early Asian trading. Asian markets are following that cautious US lead. The ASX is slightly weaker at a quarter of a percent to the downside. And European futures also to, pointing to a flat open at this. Now, the US dollar index is near neutral today. Really tight range that Greenback is trading in against most currencies with the exception of the yen. Looks quite triangular as though the market's waiting for that CPI data tomorrow. Gold did pull back below the key 2350 level. And copper was very strong once again, breached two year highs with some follow through in Asia this morning at this stage. Oil remains in a tight trading range after a positive day generally. Bitcoin moved a little higher, holds that 60,000 level, and again is range bound. And with the back end of earnings season in focus, we have a fairly busy day to day today. We've got German CPI, UK jobs, the Australian budget. And then this evening, we've got US PPI and the Fed chairman speaking. The OPEC report is also due, which may impact to some degree on the price of oil. And of course, we've got that inflation number tomorrow coming out of the US. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. Uh, let's start with the US yen. As I said, continued yen weakness. You can see that breach of a trading range. During the US session last night, flatlined a little bit towards the end. We've got more buying coming in Asia, which has taken us up to this R1 pivot level at 156.50. We are anticipating a potential move up to test the next level, and maybe even 157 going forward. If we just pop it on a daily chart, you can see it wouldn't be on beat me on the realms of possibility technically to see this rechallenge 158 in the short term. As regards stocks, we're still seeing Webjet tinkering with this resistance at 835. Keep an eye on this. It is at the highs of the session. Looks as though it might give this level a go. If we do get a breach of, let's say, 840, we'll suspect that we might get a move up to $9 in the short term. That would be a gain of around about 7% and one to keep an eye on, but worthwhile being patient for. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.